Welcome friends. In this video, I'm putting together an affordable bender and making everything as difficult on myself as possible along the way. I've been looking for a cheap way to bend tubing to fabricate bumpers and rock sliders for the Raptor, and I came across a video that Bleepin' Colt made for the Onyx Off-Road Challenge where he modified an affordable bender to take an over hydraulic jack. It kinda seemed too complicated for me, but he mentioned that Tom is now selling the bender in an appropriate sizing for the larger air over hydraulic jack, but it's not pre-assembled or painted. I emailed Tom to confirm since I didn't see it on the website and he sent me the invoice for the stripped down bender. I just had to buy the jack and get to modifying everything to fit. To get everything set up, I first removed the jack's return springs, spring bracket, and the air hose so I wouldn't get it snagged on anything. Then I spent a long time trying to get the bender set up to properly position the jack. I recommend clamping the bender down so it doesn't move around. After trying to test fit the jack in the bender, I realized that it was too wide. This jack is a newer design of the Harbor Freight 12 ton air over hydraulic jack, so it looks a little different from the old one and it might be a little bit wider. Bleep and Colt cut off the old handle. Uh, so I got to work doing the same and then I grinded down the sides of the base to make it fit. Once I got it to fit, I threw the included weld-on jack retention cap on top of the jack and lined everything up. The upper support bar is welded on at an angle and it's not as wide as the jack retaining cap. So when I weld it on the jack retaining cap, you know, that's also going to be naturally at an angle and I had it flush with the front of the upper support. Honestly, I made this way too hard. I should have just laid the bender on its back, centered the jack inside of it, and took measurements of where the retaining cap should go, and then clamped it down and tacked it. The, the jack is just too heavy to try and hold up and keep in one location while welding, so I ended up messing up the first tacks. Bleep and Colt cut the spring bracket in half and welded the sides onto the upper support at an angle. But when I went to line it up, it made more sense to me to just weld them on the way that they would normally sit. I ended up cutting and grinding off enough to make it, make it work that way. But if I were to do it again, I would tack weld the jack retaining cap to the bottom of the spring bracket and then just tack that whole assembly onto the upper support instead of, you know, kind of doing it backwards and then having to fill everything in. I did eventually get the whole upper bracket and retaining cap welded on and then I set everything up to figure out where to drill on the jack base to mount the jack pivot plate. In an effort to center the plate, I found that I should basically line up the side with the right side of the jack base. I drilled the holes and test fit everything, not realizing that the jack was too far forward. In order for the die to bend the metal a full 90 degrees, the jack pivot plate would need to be flush with the front of the jack. So I ended up disassembling everything, I lined it all up again, and I drilled new holes, making sure to clear the jack hydraulics and any molded supports that were on the base. The affordable bender jack pivot plate came with one drilled hole and one bolt, washer and nut combo. I ended up using a, a Dorman bolt set instead that I got from O'Reilly's for the actual mounting since I used two holes and I needed to clear all of the hydraulics. On the second test fit, everything worked. I did a bit of flap disking and wire wheeling off camera to prep the bender and then I used wax and grease remover before putting on three coats of VHT roll bar and chassis paint. I started off painting on a flat surface, but eventually used some 3 inch rectangular tubing and saw horses to support the bender so that I could paint everything at once. The bender is very heavy, so rigging up the saw horses and hanging it with wire to paint was challenging. I let it dry for 3 days before reassembly. Like everything else, I made reassembly way too complicated. I was worried about scratching the paint, which is just dumb. Um, 
What I should have done is laid the bender on its side, extended the jack's screw extension about an inch, and inserted the extension into the jack's retention cap, and tightened it down with the included bolt. Then I could have bolted in the jack pivot plate afterward. Instead, I wildly flailed about, uh, trying to line everything up. Once everything was connected, I attached the springs, tightened the pivot plate bolt, and tested the jack. Bleepin' Colt mentioned in his video that he used the jack's handle as a lever for the hydraulic release, and I, I honestly I didn't understand why. I thought, you know, that that's silly. I'll just use the included handle. Um, it wasn't until I tested the range of motion that I realized that the bending die blocks the hydraulic release, which is why he needed to use the handle as a release. So I flap disked off the paint on the end of the release, cut the handle, flapped down the side that I was going to weld into a sharp point so that I could keep the weld small uh, whenever I, I put it on there. I tightened the hydraulic release all the way, lined up the arm so that it wouldn't hit the spring, and then I welded it on. Once everything was good to go, I added the bending roller, reconnected the airline, and I went to test the air side of the jack. I don't have a shop compressor, and I'm moving back to Washington soon with only what I can fit in the truck, so I wasn't going to go buy one. I instead decided to try using my truck's new dual piston compressor just to test the air jack operation. I didn't think that it would actually work to bend the DOM tubing. For my first bend, I inserted some one and a half inch 120 wall DOM round tubing. And you know, metal isn't cheap, so this was an, also an important bend for a project that I was working on. Um, at the last second, once I got everything lined up, I figured what the hell, and I just tried using the truck's compressor. I was worried that it would blow the compressor up, but it worked without any issues at all. And then I ended up doing my second bend right on the truck bed. So final thoughts on this are that this is a fairly simple little project that I made way too complicated. Um, but it, it is pretty ironic that this is a small fabrication project uh, that was used to build something that is going to be a significant component of my future projects. From now on, I'll try to not overthink anything. Uh, also, I'm, I'm really surprised that the small compressor on the truck was actually able to work and bend the DOM tubing, the one and a half inch tubing. Everything is working out really great, including the affordable bender. I, I highly recommend it, especially since no one else can compare with the price of, of these things. They're just a great value. Anyway, I still need to edit my next video where I make something cool for the Raptor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.